We're here at Cornwall Park Zoo and Conservatory to feature our latest exhibit, A Journey into the World of Insects from Their Perspective, Up Close and Personal, a photo exhibit featuring dramatic close-up images of insects and plants photographed by Minneapolis artist Bill Johnson. Mr. Johnson specializes in plant and insect photography, but his subjects also include birds, mammals, reptiles, amphibians, and habitats ranging from deserts to prairies to swamps. His images have appeared in over 700 national and regional publications, and his travels have taken him to a number of states, and he's been abroad to Ontario, Belize, and Guyana. Mr. Johnson was recently added as a contributing columnist to Horticulture Magazine and will soon be writing a monthly column on insects and their interrelationships with garden plants through pollination and other factors. And now I am with Bill Johnson, the fabulous artist whose artwork here at Como we're so happy to have. Bill, thanks so much for coming out today and thank you for having your artwork here at Como. We absolutely love it. It's really neat stuff. How did you get into art and, and photography? Uh, growing up, there were cameras all over the house. Uh, my parents had cameras, my grandparents had cameras. Um, there was negatives all over the place and it was always fascinating. They let me play with these things when I was a little kid. Um, definitely not the greatest images ever made, but it picked my interest in photography. So Bill, how did you get interested in the plants and the insects? The insect part of it, uh, I can trace that back to uh, when I was five years old. I was at my grandmother's uh, and my grandfather's property, not a farm, but they had several acres and they had lots of flowers. And there was a hollyhock that I walked up to and I'm probably what, three and a half feet tall, four feet tall, and something flew into this hollyhock. So I walked over to it and I stuck my finger in it. And it turned out there was a bumblebee in it, which came and stung me in my finger. And I remember thinking, I vaguely recall thinking, what was that that did that and why did it do it? And I know that that's gotta be where I started my interest in insects. Now this type of photography, is it, it's called macro, right? Yes, it's, it's, ma it's macro photography, micro photography sometimes when you're really getting into high magnifications, but macro photography is the, is the main and most common term used for it. And what that is, is it, you, you have a small insect and it's just incredibly, incredibly magnified, these photos. Right, right. I mean, there's lenses made, uh, there's macro lenses for cameras, uh, generally 100 millimeter, 105 millimeter, things that will get you to life size. Uh, maybe a little bit more than life size on the image uh, in comparing with the insect. Uh, what a lot of the images that are going to be in this show are the result of a lens that came out about a year and a half ago that sort of was the holy grail for macro photographers and it's a very high magnification lens and it, the next step up is a microscope. Well, when I've come up close to bugs or anything, they tend to fly away or scooch away. How do you get so close to them? It takes practice, it takes time. There's a lot of luck involved. Uh, there's knowledge of their behavior, knowing, anticipating what they're going to do. Um, again, luck is a lot of it. I can get up to some insects and they let me take pictures of them within an inch or two inches uh, with no problem. Some just fly away because there's this giant thing that's all of a sudden cr shading them, this huge cloud coming over them, <laughs> yeah. and they fly away but you just keep trying. So Bill, tell us a little bit about the exhibit here at Como. What will people see? I believe there's 29 enlargements that are going up on the walls, uh, along with several of these photographs, especially of the insects. There are some butterflies involved in here, but of the insects, I'm adding a little four by six card underneath them that is representing and showing people the life size of that insect that's in that photograph because a lot of these insects aren't the size of German shepherds, they're a lot smaller. Uh, there's also going to be three different booklets of additional insect images that I will have on the tables throughout the room. And uh, those will be four by six prints. And just more images for people to look at. So what do you hope people will take away from seeing this exhibit? Uh, that insects aren't bad, insects aren't dangerous. Um, I mean, you hear the stories of things stinging and biting and stuff like that. But uh, especially in the horticultural field, we need insects. And if there wasn't pollination going on, we would have no food to eat, per se. Uh, so a lot of what I'm doing is trying to show the public there's some pretty amazing things out there 
that you probably have noticed out of the corner of your eye, but you've never gotten up close and personal with. And a lot of people are still afraid of doing that. This allows them to break that barrier where they know these pictures aren't going to come and bite them. And they can finally get up close and personal and look at it. Bill, thanks so much for having your artwork here at Como Park Zoo and Conservatory. It's been a long time coming. I, I'm super glad that we finally got you and your artwork out here. It's fabulous. And folks, if you want to see Bill's artwork, come on out to Como Park Zoo and Conservatory. The name of the exhibit is A Journey into the World of Insects from Their Perspective, Up Close and Personal, which is on display now through January 23rd. Bill, again, thanks so much. I appreciate it. Thank and you. we're really happy to have appreciate you out here. Too. Excellent. Thank you.